Due to the current circumstances we're experiencing in the airport right now, I decided to ask my teammates a few questions about their past uh, flying experiences, you know, things like that. Got Ebs here with me. Um, I mean, I'm from Ghana, Accra. Um, traveling is uh, like, to from America to Ghana is like, 15, 16 hours. Flying from Zimbabwe, South Africa, London, and then Boston. It was like, I mean, probably like, why, just because it was so long? Uh, well, the first one was like the really small plane, and like the turbulence was really bad. The longest flight you've ever been on? The longest flight I've ever been on is probably the one to Tampa. To Tampa? Yeah. From, from Stockholm. Stockholm, Stockholm, London, London, Chicago, Chicago, down to Tampa. Oh my god! That's a, that, that was yeah, that was a long trip. Who booked that for you, Perry? Perry booked that trip. <laughs> <laughs> we have a di direct flight, but <laughs> he didn't choose to take it. I don't know why. Longest flight? Yeah. 20, 25 hours from Zimbabwe, including including layovers and stuff. No, we're not talking about layovers. We just talk about one time. One time? Yeah. I would say probably like 17, 17 hours. Flying from South Africa, yeah. I've only done 11. I thought that was like the worst thing ever. Oh, bro, you don't know. You don't know. You gotta, you gotta, I guess only one. You gotta come that. with me. You gotta come with me. You need back home. No, I'm all right. The longest flight I've ever been long is probably going back to Ghana, which is like two years ago. And then I made How a transit. Was it was like I mean, it made a transit from London to Ghana. So in total, it was gonna be like 17 hours. See, that's just too long. Yeah. That's too long. All right, worst flying experience ever. What happened? Um, I mean, always I'm always scared of flying anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> so was it the weather? Was it the little kids just, the whole time? It's just that I'm just scared of flying. Yeah. So I just get timid when I'm flying. So I actually have a couple of them. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, afraid of flying, but right, like leaving your dad, for example, and uh -huh. flying by yourself back home to Stockholm from that's the Caribbean. Scary. That's oh, sorry, but that's scary, and it is very disappointing. You know, yeah. You're very sad. Of course. And then in 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 south of France, we have a lot of turbulence. You know. Uh huh. I swear to God, sometimes I I, I actually I'm not afraid of flying, but I. But that's when you get afraid. Any bad experiences, like you know, with little kids like sitting next to you, just crying and screaming the whole that's the way. Worst. That's the worst, man. Like, or somebody hogging the armrest and you can't sit too comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I've had a lot of experiences with like kids like behind me and like in yeah. front of my seat, like crying the whole time. You yeah, know, just kicking the back of the seat. Yeah, man. It's, I mean, it's it's, it's sad, but you know, like kids, man. You know. No, you gotta, you gotta let it go. Not, no, they shouldn't you do gotta. that. Going to Edmonton, sitting with um, <laughs> Etienne, <laughs> it wasn't fun at all. No? <laughs> yeah, he was just, nah, he was just squeezing me. I was sitting between Etienne and I think, uh, was it Yama? Yeah, it was between one of them and I, I didn't like it at all. I was just, like, they kept him in the middle and just squeezing me out. That's, that's messed up. Yeah, and it wasn't even Southwest. It was pretty much like Frontier or them kind of, <laughs> you know, them kind of flights.